Okay, so to start the lighting on this object, we're going to just go ahead and put on a basic arc and design material for the bottle. Then we're going to set up our HDRI image, and then from there we'll go ahead and set up some lights. And once we have the amber look set up, like the light set up, then we'll be able to start modifying our material on the bottle to get the proper look. So to start off with, we're just going to create another material for it. All right, this is going to be bottle. All right, now there's a lot of properties in here we're going to change, but we just want to get something started here. All right, so we're going to want to set our diffuse to nothing, or just a little bit of our diffuse, set it to maybe brown, dark brown, and up our diffuse maybe to point two. Okay, so from here we need to create uh, um, an object that will hold on to our our information, our HDRI image. And to do that, we're just going to use a sphere, and we're going to create a large sphere that will encompass the entire scene. Okay, we want to convert this to an editable polygon. We're going to want to select all the polygons and flip this inwards. So now all the normals of the object are actually going into the scene. And you can see this by selecting your object and putting on a edit normal modifier on there. And you can see that all these little lines you know, up the length here, you can see that they're all pointing into the scene. So that when we put an image on that sphere, that all those little lights from the image will bounce off this bottle. All right, so I'm going to remove that. And it's kind of difficult to work with the scene when you got a sphere in the way. So the easiest way to fix this is to turn on a back face calling. So if you right click on the sphere, make sure I can trouble right clicking here oh. object properties and then turn on back face calling you'll now be able to see through the uh, any normals that aren't facing the camera okay so we're gonna make a new material and we just need to make a standard material this time all right we're gonna call this HDRI from here we're gonna set our diffuse to pure black we're gonna turn on our self illumination and we're gonna grab a bitmap for this and our bitmap is going to be an HDRI image, so make sure you set to all formats. Grab our Studio 20 light. Make sure that Real Pixels 32-bit is turned on. This way we'll get real color information from this HDRI. Hit OK. All right, and we can just drag and drop from this little circle onto the sphere. All right, we zoom in on our bottle now. Frame this up. Shift F will allow you to see what's going to get rendered. We just hit the render button. Okay, and now you can see the lights bouncing around on this bottle. All right, so we have a problem here though. We have our sphere showing up in our renders and we don't want that. So we can just right click, click object properties and turn off visible to camera. So now if we zoom in on our bottle, zoom out a little bit here, hit render. You can now see our bottles underway. Okay, so we need to create a light that will bounce uh, yellow information into this bottle. If you ever hold up a beer bottle to a light, um, the beer from the inside will emit and bounce around inside the bottle. And you can see this effect in our render. We get this bit of a fall off uh, Fresnel effect on the outside, and then you can see the beer shining through. So to do that, we're just going to start with a plane. And the idea is that you can't shine a light directly into the bottle. It needs to bounce off the surface in order for it to do the proper scattering effect. So we're going to put this in the air and uh, we can utilize that material that we used earlier. Since nothing else is using that basic gray material anymore, we can assign that to the, the plane and we're going to set this to white. Okay, and we're going to call this amber plane because this is the plane that's going to give off the amber light. All right, we don't want this visible to camera. So we go object properties, set that. We're going to go into our lights, standard, mental ray, spotlight. From behind the bottle, we're going to drag out a mental ray spotlight. And uh, we can set our pivot or the orientate, or sorry, the position of our target onto the plane. So hit Alt A with the 
target selected and click on our plane and we can set our positions all to that. Now we just need to angle the light so that it would bounce into the plane, into the beer bottle. Okay, and from here we can play around with the lighting effects on the on the plane. So we want the intensity to be really bright. We want it, this to be an orange light. We should change our spotlight parameters and just kind of fit the beam better into the shot here. From here we can change our lights to hardware display with lights. Give everything a second to catch up. Okay, now we can see what our light looks like in our scene. And we may need to make this a little bit bigger. And we increase our spotlight to about there. So if we were to render this from the front angle here, we should see a little bit of the amber kind of spilling through, but not fully because we don't have our transparency set on our arc and design material. So we'll close this up and there's two materials that we're going to need now. I'd like to get uh, an Omni light sitting up here and the Omni light sitting over here if we can. That will give us a bit of a rim shine on this side. So we'll get one Omni light there. And one on this side. And in our composition, the bottle's going to be on the right-hand side. So we want the right-hand side to be a little bit dimmer than the other. So it's holding on to our information from our last spotlight. So we're just going to set that to 1. Set our light to white. And actually, this one on the right side, we're going to set this down to like 0.2. And the other light, which looks like I didn't duplicate. So we'll just hold Shift and move it down to this side. We'll set that one to one. All right, we can render now. Now we get a little bit more of a, uh, a rim light on this bottle. Okay, so that's it for the lighting setup. In the next tutorial, we're gonna go over our beer bottle material a little bit more in depth and try and get it to look more like our final render.